So today's a pretty good delivery. This is actually from Athens, Greece. Um, and when I was looking to repair the original one, uh, which we weren't really getting very far by drilling it out and I wasn't getting too excited. It had to be a lot of TIG welding and a lot of milling. Um, so I just thought, oh, let me just take a break, have a quick look on eBay. And all of a sudden this one came on. Um, all the codes followed the same way. Uh, it was the middle one, obviously. So I pretty much knew it was the one. Uh, so I thought I'd order it. It was expensive, but not as much as buying three all together and then looking to sell the others. Um, obviously what I plan to do is a full restoration just like the other ones. Uh, so all I need to do is start by taking off all the hardware. So I'll probably start now. And there will be an enamel coating on the actual body. Um, all these parts will be zinc, -poated, zinc coated or enamel plated. Uh, there'll be new bearings, the um, butterfly valves will be polished and everything to get it as new as possible, just like the other ones. So we'll run along with that. So before I start anything, what we've done is just prepared a few boxes. So what we've got is to, a box for cleaning and replacing, a box of paint and a box of plating. Uh, it's exactly what I've done for the, the other ICBs and they're starting to look pretty good all in there. As you can see, it just kind of helps me understand where I'm at within the process and helps me not get anything mixed up. So what I'm going to start on is removing all this. So I've pre prepared some tools for the job, uh, these should be all I need. Um, I'll set up a little time lapse and we'll see how it goes. The next part isn't exactly exciting. Uh, with the butterfly valves, you see there's four uh, four screws, but if you look closely, they've been peened over. Uh, obviously, this is to help them stop falling now. Uh, if I just simply look to take them out of the screw, you've got a big chance of damaging the threads. Um, so what is best to do, it's kind of hard to get to, but is I'm gonna use a Dremel grinding wheel and just look to take off that top surface. You can kind of see, probably not on there, but how it's rounded rounded uh, over and what that's going to do is just pull out the threads um, so let me have a go at that here are the two ones have a go at and i want to have a go with um, 
Honestly, can't tell you if it's going to work yet, so we'll just have to see. <laughs> With the first one out, um, the, I tried what I can with grinding down the top. Uh, they did come up really, really easily. Sometimes I know they can easily round. Um, I didn't even need to shock them or anything. There is definitely slight damage still to the uh, inside of there, but hopefully when I try a new screw, I should be able to also peen it over and also just thinking about adding a bit of Loctite. So I'm gonna take the other side out, exactly the same again, grind it down and have a go. So with both of them removed, there is some slight burring on the back. What I'm going to do is hopefully just drive this this uh, the shaft through. There is some slight catching, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a tap. Hopefully, not damage it too much. Unfortunately, I can really film that because I had to use the vice. But that's come out quite easily. Not really much tapping. Hopefully, they can clean up quite well. I'll get a good bit of sandpaper on them. Uh, so next, just dismantle this and get the pieces ready. So with these washers that sit at the end of the circlip, what you need to do is kind of you need to squeeze them apart because as you can see, it actually turns out to be four. It's quite a thick one there, and then there's two, three, uh, two. There's three thin ones. Regarding the uh, one of the throttle shaft bearings, there's definitely a better way to do it, but unfortunately, I don't have a crazy amount at all. So this is my kind of little setup, and we'll see how that goes. That's that first bearing out. Luckily, that's quite an easy one. The next ones are in here. Um, I have an internal bearing puller, but it's not the best in the world. Uh, I'm gonna give it a go and we'll see how that goes.
So there's the first one out. You can't actually grip around the outside um, due to how it is in here. Because of that lip there. Um, so what this does, it just expands on in, onto the inner race. And you gotta, kinda gotta hope and pray that it kinda comes with it. Um, I did actually, just go on the lathe quickly, just uh, mark some notches in, I'll just quickly show you them. Bit messed up from its first use, but just in little notches. I've found before that you really do struggle to get any grip on there. And so by doing that, it's done pretty well. the second one. All there is now to do for this is just to remove these two studs. Uh, for some reason it came without two, uh, that's not exactly an issue because I have the old one to use. I was going to remove them and then that's all ready. Right, so that's everything removed. Uh, now I'm just what I'm going to do is just get everything set up, just so I've got a lot of photos of myself, just so I know where everything goes. Uh, I have been taking quite a few on the way, and this is my third one, I guess, fourth, third that I've uh, stripped down. Uh, but just to show you exactly where pots go, I'll just make a little uh, diagram. So here we have every single part of the ICB from the body. The shafts, the butterfly valve, the studs, the shaft bearings, your washers, the uh, bypass adjuster screws, and that's just one of the vacuum hoses. And you've got this part of the throttle linkage here. And as I said before, we've got the cleaning, replace, paint, and plate. So I'm just going to put all that back and then I can film that as well. So, and here we have the different boxes and to what will go with them. So these parts, uh, obviously I'm looking to kind of be replacing the bearings, the adjuster screws, uh, the butterfly valve screws, the O-rings, uh, this one you're replacing but I've got a spare one, there's a spring washer and uh, the kind of caps on the adjuster screws, they're all being replaced and the rest of it will just be nice and cleaned up. These three parts will all be aluminium enamelled and then these parts over here are going to be zinc plated using the kit just here. All right, to clean this up, I've just got a few few brushes, some degreaser, and then a bucket of water. Uh, all I need to do is kind of just clean off all the degreaser, uh, all the grease, try to take off this Cosmo, and uh, get it kind of ready, get the surface a bit better ready for paint. So here's a throttle body, just after a quick degrease uh, with a simple brush and uh, water. 
Now what I've got here is a ultrasonic bath. Uh, I'm looking just to give it half an hour on each side because uh, actually it doesn't it doesn't fit completely. Um, but I'll just put that on now and then I'll start on the other cleaning. So I thought I'd make a start on the uh, butterfly valves. They're pretty well caked up, but um, I've done it before where it's a simple WD. WD-40 scrub, uh, get them cleaned up, and then some auto sol, uh metal polish. You spend a bit of time with them, they do look pretty good. You can get quite a good mirror finish, so I'm going to get that done now. Alright, so that's definitely a good start. Uh, I will look to do this again, but what I'll do is I'll start with all clean equipment because you can see it's pretty bad. Uh, we'll just a quick comparison. So we get the other one done and then we can start on making it a little bit more polished. So with the post done, uh, what I'm going to do now is just go over with a little buffing wheel on the Dremel. And that should really shine them up. Right, and here are the completed butterfly valves. Both sides are pretty good. Uh, pretty much a mirror, mirror finish. I'm really happy with them. Uh, so moving on. What I plan now to do is just to give all these clean up. Let's do a quick time lapse of that too. Right, so that's all these parts done. Uh, pretty clean, uh, especially these. Just a quick wire wheel with the uh, with Dremel in, in the drill. So these nice and clean. Um, what I've now done is made two more boxes. So we've got just a bin and then um, ready to fit. So I've just put a few bits in here already. Uh, I've got the new bearings, I've got new uh, O-rings, I've got the new washer and uh, Got some of these caps from the last one because the new one doesn't have any. So what I can do now is, because I'm starting to kind of clear out them boxes, um, I can put it all into ready fit. At least then I kind of I'm able to track my progress. Um, so yeah, that's the next step. Uh, the throttle body's just about done in the ultrasonic bath. So I'm just going to give that a clean up now and see what that looks like. The throttle body now is looking pretty shiny. Um, getting much better now. Uh, all I need to do now is just get the Dremel and get another wire wheel. And just start to get this kind of stuff that sticks in uh, but apart from that and the hard to reach areas that should be nice and loose now because it's been the, the bath for, for over an hour but obviously half an hour each side um, so let's see how that goes <laughs> So every bit I can get to has been wire wheeled now. Uh, there's a few little bits to do, and the next step is going to be the masking. Uh, there's a lot to mask off here. There's a lot of uh, a lot of mating surfaces uh, and little intricate brass spots. So uh, it's going to definitely take a while. Uh, I think that's a tomorrow job. 
Okay, so the next step in this process is for this part to get all zinc plated. Um, I've emptied the box out and just, just to show you. I've also just stripped this down. Um, I'm gonna have a go at stripping it. I don't know how well it'll come up. It does look really cool. Uh, it looks in good condition. Um, so I might give that a um, a blue passivate, a uh, clear blue passivate to make it nice and bright silver. Uh, the rest of these will be the, the yellow passivate. Uh, but the next step is really just to get these all all these parts degreased. Um, as shown in my previous video on how to do the plating, uh, it'll be a degrease, it'll be a dip in muratic acid, then either a sandblast and then a wire wheel to polish them up and then we can carry on with the process. So that's the next step. So here are the parts after a muratic acid dip and then a wire wheel polish. Uh, everything's in pretty good. These two parts here, I've just got replacement ones, so I thought I'd just quickly um, replace them easily so they can go in the ready to fit bin. Um, also, I've got the throttle linkage parts. Um, I've already got the last set painted in the enamel, so what I'm tempted to do here is just clear zinc coat these, just to see how they look. Um, whether I prefer it. If I do, obviously I'm going to have to replace all the rest, but that should be a massive issue for me. But yeah, moving on to wrapping them up ready for zinc plating. Okay, so here's my first batch. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the batch size, just because I've uh, got a battery charge linked up and it's not the strongest in the world. So five or six at a time usually does depending on the surface area. And so I'm gonna get this done now. Okay, so here we have all the parts that have been plated. We've got the two clear, or the three clear, um, and the rest of all. Unfortunately, I did forget to put that one with the clear, so I may have to either replay it or just see how it looks. 
apart from that, they all look absolutely amazing. Uh, definitely some of my best finishes. There's some slight blotches on there. That's maybe due to the electrolyte needing filter. filter. But I'm not really happy. Uh, these are going to take a couple of days now to dry. Uh, they've been on the heat heat gun for about half an hour each. Um, so I'm just going to leave these here to dangle for, for a couple of days and then we can carry on with them later. So this task is going to take quite a while, uh, so I better get started. It's all the masking up now, cover up all the mating surfaces, all these brass uh, inserts and any kind of bearing uh, areas. So yeah, leave it with me. Okay, with the masking complete, it's now time for a spray. Well, first, I'll just clean it down with some uh, some kind of pre spray. Unfortunately, I don't have a spray booth, so it's going to be outside on the clothes rail. We'll see how that goes. So here we have it, all unmasked. I am very happy with the finish. Um, it is something I do prefer to powder coat in, just because then you still get the, the casting marks. It doesn't kind of smooth enough everything. As well as just simple things like I mask over these little steel inserts, um, and then I can kind of start to bush up, uh, buff up to make smooth. There's about four of them on there. Just something you might miss out on the sand, on the powder coating if it's ever sent off to someone. So I do prefer to kind of do stuff in house if possible. Next step, all I'm going to do is kind of set up a little uh, display of where the parts started against where they are now. So we'll see what that looks like. And here we have the finished product. I'm still waiting a few bits, such as the butterfly valve screws and the adjuster screw caps. Um, waiting on them from BMW. There you go, the body that's painted. The polished valves and the new bearings. Washers, the cleaned up uh, adjuster screws. I still have a plan to uh, clear, clear zinc that That's, uh, for a later job. And some of the plated items that they're quite absolutely amazing, really. Um, so I'm going to give them another day or two just to set, make sure they're fully set before I start putting them together. Let's see if I can put some before and after photos in for you. Um, just to show you the difference really, and save the scrolling back and forth. So all I've done now is just took it to work and got the bearings pushed in. Um, we've just got much better tools there, saves me messing it up. Other than that, uh, the parts are looking pretty empty now. All I need, I'm uh, still waiting on them bits from Germany. Um, the the bin, it's got all the broken parts in or, or parts that have been replaced. And then they're ready to fit as full as ever. Um, so what we're going to do now is do some assembly as much as I can really for today and see how it looks.
And here is practically the finished product. Is everything installed? Still obviously missing the butterfly valves. But that'll be that'll be put in pretty soon. I'm really happy with how it came out. There's some slight chips on the zinc plating. That's probably just my own fault being a bit too a bit too fast with it all. Um, but that's all in. The next step, once the butterfly valve's in, is adjustment, but that'll be a different video. But I think I'll finish that one there because, unfortunately, I don't actually know the, the uh, estimated time on delivery of the of the new screws, so I don't want to be waiting for too long. But yeah, thanks for watching.